brand new dinosaur monster truck, new Marvel trucks, all of this and more is coming up on this week's edition of Monster Truck News. Starting off with the results for Monster Jam in Lewa, Abu Dhabi. Show 1 saw Brandon Arthur in Iron Man win racing. Charlie Porkin in Megalodon won donuts. And Blake Granger in El Toro Loco would win skills, freestyle, and the overall. For show 2, Blake Granger would win all competitions except for freestyle, as Charlie Porkin would win that competition. For show 3, Brandon Arthur would once again win racing, Blake Granger takes his third skills win of the weekend, and Bari Musawa and Black Panther would win donuts, freestyle, and the overall. And for show 4, Charlie Porkin would win racing, Blake Granger would take his fourth skills win of the weekend, Bari Musawa would win donuts once again, and Matt Cody and Gravedig would win freestyle and the overall event championship. Matt Cody's freestyle deserves an extra special mention for the simple fact of how awesome it was. It felt like a vintage Gravedigger freestyle, and he won even without performing a backflip. Over the holidays, an update was provided for the Metal Shop Beach Brawl event. If you recall our last news video, we mentioned an independent event that was in the works headed by the Metal Shop team. The event would take place in Ocean City, Maryland and was waiting approval from Ocean City Council members. An update to this meeting with the council was posted online. The article reads as follows. The town will pursue a partnership with a local company to co-produce a master truck event scheduled for next fall. On Tuesday, Ocean City Special Events Director Frank Miller presented the mayor and council with a request to partner with the metal shop, a Delmar-based business, to co-produce the first annual Monsters of Metal Beach Brawl. Scheduled for October 18th to 20th, Miller said the event would fill a vacant weekend on this special events calendar and offer a family-friendly activity that would benefit both the organizer and town. The council voted 7-0 to approve the partnership between the town of Ocean City and the metal shop in putting on the Monsters of Metal Beach Brawl. This means that the event is likely to go forward, and a term sheet is set to be presented this month. As we said last year, we will provide further updates on this event as more information is revealed. Last year, four all-new Marvel trucks debuted in Monster Jam on the International Tour and will return to competition when the International Tour starts back up in March. However, an Instagram post with what I would assume are designs for merchandise like t-shirts has revealed some pretty interesting details. On this page includes designs for the four Marvel trucks, but also include two other identities that have not yet debuted. Those two are Hulk and Captain America. Both of these designs were posted to the Viz Creative Instagram page in early December of last year. While I do understand that the truck's proportions have been altered to go along with the style of the design, as seen most with Thor and Iron Man, you can still get a general idea of what Hulk and Captain America are supposed to look like from these images. And with that being said, honestly, I am not a fan of these trucks. While I did end up changing my thoughts on the Marvel trucks after seeing them in person, and honestly, they do look so much better up close in person than, say, on a phone or computer screen, I am not sure I feel the same way about these two. Especially when Hulk just looks like a repurposed Spider-Man and Captain America shares some of the same body features as Thor. While these haven't been acknowledged by Monster Jam yet, I imagine that these are either 1. In the works to debut soon, or 2. Conceptual designs of trucks that didn't make the cut. What do you think about this? Let us know your thoughts on Captain America and Hulk in the comments below. Josh Bumgartner, owner of Mechanical Mischief, has some exciting news for the new year. Bumgartner has revealed that he will join an exclusive group of independent master truck drivers who have campaigned the legendary Bigfoot name on their truck. 
he will campaign Bigfoot on his new mechanical mischief truck at select Mazda Truck Insanity Tour events in 2024. A press release regarding the news has been revealed, giving some more insight to this news. The 10th anniversary Mazda Truck Insanity Tour featuring Bigfoot kicks off in Ada, Oklahoma on February 23rd and 24th and expands westward for a six event run from Washington to Idaho. The alliance culminates at select events in the Midwest before wrapping up in September of 2024. Later on in the press release, it is revealed what version of Bigfoot he will campaign. 2024 looks to be a breakout year for Bumgartner, all while flying the iconic racer stripe Bigfoot scheme at select Monster Truck Insanity Tour events. For Bumgartner to run, the Bigfoot identity is a surreal dream of his that has finally come true. He would elaborate on this statement within the press release, stating, Growing up watching Bigfoot advance the industry and to be added to the list of iconic Bigfoot drivers such as Bob Chandler and Dan Runte, I can't express the level of gratitude I have to represent the Bigfoot brand on the Master Truck Insanity Tour's 10th anniversary. With a new chassis for Mechanical Mischief set to debut very soon and other exciting projects in the works, Baumgartner's 2024 season looks to be a landmark season for him and his team, and we cannot wait to see what else he has in store. We would also like to congratulate Baumgartner on this incredible opportunity to represent Bigfoot on the 10th anniversary for the Master Truck Insanity Tour. 2024 will see a lot of independent drivers in new places and some in familiar places as well. Extreme Monster Sports have switched up their drivers for the first quarter as they will campaign two Hot Wheels identities on one of the two Hot Wheels Monster Truck Live tours in North America. Preston Perez will now drive Bone Shaker for the first quarter. As of recently, Perez has been known for campaigning Toxic, a truck he's still a part of, and will campaign later this year around summertime. The other driver who will be running for Extreme Monster Sports is Devin Wheeler, who will drive Mega Rex. Wheeler, while maybe not as well known as Perez, is a great driver who is driven for monster trucks for quite some time, but now he will compete on the Hot Wheels circuit. But that isn't the only team that will compete on the Hot Wheels circuit. Warhead XL owner and driver Mike Mento will run Gunkster for one of the tours. In addition to that, Highlight Reel Entertainment will campaign two of their trucks, Texas Outlaw and Lethal Injection, running as Gunkster and Demo Derby respectively. Continuing on with the theme of Hot Wheels, there will be some more new faces on the Hot Wheels circuit as well. Team KCM will see Nick and Kristen Meagers sharing driving duties for Bone Shaker on the European Hot Wheels Tour, while Anthony Ritter will drive Tiger Shark again also for Team KCM. On that same tour, Allison Patrick will campaign Demo Derby alongside Rick Stevens, who will campaign Mega Rex. Moving away from Hot Wheels to Extreme, we'll see former Shark Bite driver Rob Putre campaign Bounty Hunter for Jimmy Creton, with Dan Dahlgren stepping in to fill in for Rob's former truck, Shark Bite. However, there's one more truck that will be debuting soon, with two independent drivers campaigning it on their respective chassis this year. Add this truck to the ever-growing list of dinosaur-themed monster trucks, as Monster Truck Wars will see the debut of their newest truck, T-Rex. Not much is known about this truck, other than this small teaser image showing that it will be a 3D body and which teams will be campaigning it. Devin Jones of Barbarian and Aaron Basil of Devastator will both campaign T-Rex at Monster Truck Wars events this year. The truck will debut at Lexington, Virginia and Dallas, Texas this Saturday and it will be interesting to see what this truck ends up looking like. We are back for the first Master Trek 5 of the week of the year, a segment showcasing all the shows and tours that are touring the globe. The 2024 Master Jam season begins this weekend 
with four of the five tours beginning this weekend. Arena Championship Series West heads to Salt Lake City, Utah in the Delta Center for four shows this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, while Arena Championship Series Central will start their tour off in Nashville, Tennessee at Bridgestone Arenas for three shows this Saturday and Sunday. Arena Championship Series East will start their tour off in Florence, South Carolina for a non-points event in the Florence Center for three shows this Saturday and Sunday. Florence will feature Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger, Armando Castro in El Toro Loco, Chad Tingler in The Red Overboard, Zach Gunner in Wildside, Mark Hall in Raminator, and Kurt Kramer in Remunition. Only one of Master James Stadium Tours will compete this weekend, with Stadium Championship Series East starting up next weekend. Meanwhile, Stadium Championship Series West will start their tour off with the return to San Francisco, California at Oracle Park for the first time since 2007. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live has two events going on this week, with the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live International Tour heading to Madrid, Spain for four shows in the Wizink Center this Wednesday and Thursday. The International Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Tour includes Five Alarm with Craig Christensen, Rebecca Schnell in Bigfoot, Bone Shaker with Nick Meges, Allison Patrick in Demo Derby, Gungster with Darren Schnell, Rick Stevens in Mega Rex, and Tiger Shark with Anthony Ritter. One of the North American tours will be at Atlanta, Georgia for three shows in the State Farm Arena this Saturday and Sunday. This tour features Five Alarm with Cody Holman, Bigfoot with Cody Smith, Bone Shake with Preston Perez, Taylor Holman in Demo Derby, Gungster with Mike Menta, Devin Wheeler in Mega Rex, and Tiger Shark with Bobby Holman. Please note that these lineups will not be mentioned fully unless there are significant changes that happen to them, like with the non-point shows for Monster Jam and other Hot Wheels US tours, which will be mentioned next week. The toughest Master Truck Tour begins the start of their championship series in Prescott Valley, Arizona, this Friday and Saturday for two shows. The event will feature Blockhead with Darren Basil, Dirt Crew with Jerry Beck, Dozer with a to be announced driver, Maximus with Travis Groth, The Veteran with Tyler Groth, and the defending points champion Tim Jones in Tailgater. Rounds 1 and 2 of the Monster Mashes Championship Series for the All-Star Master Truck Tour will be in Brooksville, Florida this Saturday and Sunday for two shows. The event will feature the debut of three new trucks, those being Colossus with Elliot Miller, Uproar with John Zimmer Sr., and the return of Little Miss Dangerous with Athena Kazell. The event will also feature Playing Crazy with Montana Robbins, Terminal Velocity with John Zimmer Jr., and the defending points champion Crazy Train with Triton Robbins. The Kicker Master Truck Nationals heads to Salina, Kansas this Saturday for two shows. The shows will feature Black Stallion with Mike Varners, Higher Education with Chris DeHoys, Overkill Evolution with Mikey Varners, Rat Attack with Jacob Ladwig, and Taurus with Steven Thompson. The Monster Truck Nitro Tour heads to Pueblo, Colorado this Saturday for two shows. The event will feature Bailey Tame with Mike Rowley, Jurassic Attack with Tim Hall Jr., the return of Joe Yuri to Team Throttle Monster, as he will drive Kamikaze, Monster Patrol with Austin Tweedy, and USA One with Rodney Tweedy. And finally, the two Extreme Monster Trick series will visit Chandler, Arizona, this Saturday and Sunday for two shows. The events will feature Bounty Hunter with Rob Putre, Hot Tamale with Mike Brister, Obsessed with Eric Swanson, Pretty Obsessed with Misha Farris, Scarlet Bandit with Dawn Creighton, and Shark Bite with Dan Dahlgren. And well, that is all we have for you today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.